was a story that broke so late last week we weren't able to discuss it. A Jackson County judge awards the Health Care Foundation of Greater Kansas City $162 million in a judgment against the owner of the largest hospital system in our metro. The foundation sued HCA, which in 2002 purchased all of the former Health Midwest hospitals, alleging it had not delivered on promises for charitable care and capital improvements at the facilities, which include Overland Park Regional, Menorah, and Research. It was a massive ruling that captured national attention, including a story in the New York Times. KCPT special correspondent Sam Zeff poured through the 140-page court ruling this week. To understand just how big this ruling is, you have to understand just how big a footprint HCA has in Kansas City. Anchored by Research Medical Center on Meyer Boulevard, HCA has nine hospitals in Missouri and Kansas that ring the metro. By some estimates, it commands 35 to 40 percent of the market. And HCA is a behemoth, the largest for-profit healthcare company in America, it showed a $360 million profit in its last quarterly report. Make everybody understand uh, the significance of this opinion from the Jackson County Circuit Court. It vindicates the interest of all those neighborhood people who became concerned when the deal was first announced. Landon Rowland is the former chairman of the Kansas City Health Care Commission and someone who was worried about HCA from the very beginning. Not only was it a for-profit company buying non-profit hospitals, but it was the largest transfer of non-profit assets to a for-profit company in the history of the country. These hospitals were largely created by religious groups or religious authorities, some of them as late as in the late 19th century. We had a great concern about Health Midwest, of course, first going uh, out and then selling and possibly selling to a for-profit uh, hospital organization. Bishop Mark uh, Tolbert from Victorious Life Church was in those early talks with HCA. He too was worried about turning over charity hospitals to a for-profit corporation, but he believes HCA has held up its end of the deal. I still feel that that if HCA, because they have proven themselves to be good community partners, they've done a lot of things up and down Prospect. Uh, they're working with some community development organizations to try and improve those areas, even on Truce, near where the Old Baptist, they're talking about putting in senior citizen living, which is something that we need in the urban core. To ease the way for this unprecedented hospital deal, HCA agreed to some things the community demanded. It funded two health care foundations, one in Missouri and one in Kansas, which make health-related grants. But it also agreed to two things central to the lawsuit, to spend $450 million to upgrade existing hospitals and to provide $500 million in charity care. In a 140-page ruling, Jackson County Judge John Torrance said HCA failed on both accounts. In 2002, these Health Midwest hospitals, eight in Missouri and three in Kansas, were starved for cash and in desperate need of repair and upgrading. HCA came to town and promised the community and regulators that it would fix them. But according to court documents, another plan from HCA began to emerge. First, HCA closed Baptist Lutheran Hospital. Then it closed Lee Summit Hospital, Medical Center of Independence, and Independence Regional Health Center. It then spent $343 million to build two new hospitals in fast-growing eastern Jackson County, Lee Summit Medical Center and Centerpoint Medical Center in Independence. And it seemed to me that HCA was looking to treat patients in parts of the metro where there's a pretty good chance they're insured. Very hard to see how they could avoid moving the enterprise to where, to where the dollars are. In fact, this confidential HCA memo, entered as evidence at trial, said the same thing. The replacement facility, the memo says, is located to the east of the existing hospitals with a young, affluent demographic mix. Conservatively, the percentage of managed care business is expected to increase 43 percent 
by year five. In short, fewer poor patients means more people with health insurance. We asked several times for HCA to appear on camera. It sent this statement instead. Obviously, we are disappointed in the court's ruling, and we intend to appeal. Rather than simply put money into the repair of old facilities, we built two new hospitals, spending hundreds of millions of dollars to ensure this community has high-quality care. Now, HCA, as part of the deal, was supposed to also provide $65 million a year in uncompensated or indigent care, but according to the judgment, it was impossible to tell whether the company had met its charitable health care commitments because of the company's financial accounting, according to the judgment. So what is HCA's response to that? You covered the story as well, Jeff. Well, they, they, they're going to appeal and keep, keep going. They didn't accept what the, what the judge had come with, um, so they're pressing ahead. Sam? The, uh, I think what was astonishing in the ruling is uh, they had no idea uh, how much charitable care they had handed out. Uh, in one publication, they said it was $48 million. In another, they said it was $87 million. And in a third, $185 million. And this is what led the judge to uh, rule and demand a forensic audit. Uh, for uh, every year that HCA uh, has been here. And a forensic audit uh, is really the CSI of audits. They will go back and match every purchase over some, a certain amount with the purchase order or the invoice or the canceled check to try and reconcile this and find out exactly how much did they give to charity. And there was some dispute uh, over how much uh, capital uh, they spent, and they did in fact spend millions of dollars to upgrade existing hospitals, but there is some dispute about how much they actually spent, and that's what this forensic audit is going is to determine. Now, one of the implications of this is that HCA is also looking to purchase two more additional hospitals in our metropolitan area. One of them is St. Joseph Medical Center in South Kansas City. The other is St. Mary's Hospital in Blue Springs, which is part of the Examiner newspapers uh, area. That has been a source of controversy that played out from last year and into now. Is there a sense of nervousness in that community now as a result of this audit? Uh, there very much is a very grave concern about in, in Blue Springs about the future of the hospital. Um, since HCA is the likely buyer, I mean, they're in essentially due diligence at this point. Some of the folks who have been at the forefront of this campaign have said that that could work out. It could work out fine. It may very well be that HCA has the resources needed to keep the hospital going, make the investments that you need to make. Others are very worried about, about what happens. And I think the piece we had touched on another piece of it, which is uh, that that hospital, but both of them, but St. Mary's has uh, its roots in uh, the tradition of hospitals that come out of religion, come out of churches. And the worry is that that's going to go away. Stacy. Well, and this is the blueprint in the face of healthcare as we go forward when we move away from nonprofit hospitals that were operated either by local governments or nonprofit charities, churches, and the like, to a profit sector model where you see the community connection go away. And there's good and there's bad with that. You start to lose the quality of care, the connection, but you also start to get these large corporations like HCA that can diversify and spread those costs out. Uh, and, and then we also start to see one of the reasons they purchase up these smaller hospitals uh, is going back to Obamacare, where you see that there's going to be reduced rates of reimbursement for Medicaid and Medicare. And so to spread those costs out, hospitals like St. Mary's can no longer afford to stay in business yes. and they're selling. So I don't think this ruling is going to affect the board at St. Mary's from selling. And I don't think it's going to stop HCA from moving uh, And that's forward. a great point, because let, let's go even back in time when, when Health Midwest in two, 2002, they couldn't afford to continue going the way they were. That's why right. they sold to begin with. Right. We also have the story even in North Kansas City, where the city was looking to whether they can continue to own North Kansas City Hospital. Right. This is playing out in lots of other areas right. as well, Dave. Stacey's exactly right, because one of the things that's happening in healthcare in our country is this consolidation economies of scale. My guess is, because HCA is a public company publicly traded, that the pressure will grow for them to settle this case. Now, I don't know if those discussions are going on, but you would guess that because of this uh, judgment that was entered and the accruing interest that now begins to pile up, that that could get out of hand pretty quickly for that company and that there would be a real incentive for them to settle and frankly an incentive for the foundation to settle as well because the quicker they can get the money the better. 
a big check 10 years from now will be important, but not that helpful. The other thing is, is I wrote an email to Landon Rowland right after this decision asking him if this reduced the need to extend the health care levy in Kansas City because this penalty would presumably go for indigent care, and he said, no, still need the health levy. Let me point out one other thing. $162 million is the floor. This, this, there's no cap on this. I mean, this can rise to whatever the, uh, the forensic audit says it should rise to. Okay, and I want to make two points very clear here. One is uh, Health Care Foundation of Greater Kansas City funds health care coverage on the station. That's a very important point. Uh, number two, not everybody understands what the Health Care Foundation does. So if they get money from this particular judgment, from this lawsuit, what would happen to that $162 million? The Health Care Foundation of Greater Kansas City makes grants to organizations uh, that presumably then goes to um, help health care organizations in this community. Isn't that correct, Sam? Yeah, absolutely. They do all kinds of grants for that. Let me also be clear that the foundation that was created in Kansas with the proceeds from the sale of Health Midwest, that foundation chose not to participate in this lawsuit. So any judgment goes just to the uh, health care foundation.